Hi, I'm JD, and we're going to be looking at today is scientific notation, conversion. We're going to look at the concept and some examples. So here's the concept. Uh, you have a times 10 raised to the n. Now that both the a and the n have to meet some criteria. That criteria for the a, if I ignore the sign, has to be somewhere in between 1, could be equal to 1, and 10, but not equal to 10. It has to be somewhere in between, but it can be 1. Now n has to be an integer, either positive or negative. Now a little tip when you're converting, uh, if you can remember that a small number equals uh, a negative exponent and a large number equals a positive exponent, that's going to help you out. So if I have a positive exponent for, so here it's 8.5 times 10 raised to the fourth power, that's going to be a large number. Now the decimal point is moved four places to the left. So when you're converting it to, so one, two, three, four. And that's why it's 10 to the fourth power. Now the name for that is called an index. So it's the index is a positive four. Now here it's a small number, notice the negative exponent. But if I move the decimal, so that's one, two, three, I have to move it in order to make that number between uh, one and 10. So it's 7.05. So that's 7.05 times 10 raised to negative third power. Notice I moved it three places to the right so the index would be negative, a negative three. Let's look at some examples. We'll start by writing it in decimal notation, then we'll switch and then convert these to scientific notation. So here, decimal notation, it's a large, just by looking at this positive number, so it's gonna be a large number, larger than one. So I'm gonna move it three places, one, the decimal, one, two, three. So that'd be 3,200. Uh, this is a negative five, so decimals here. So I'm gonna move it five places, one, two, three, four, five. So that would be 0 0.0006. You can work backwards to check, um, but we'll show it here. So let's write this in sign notation. I know just by looking at it, it's going to have a negative exponent. So that'd be one, two, three, four. So it'd be five times 10 raised to negative four. Here, decimal place is over here. So that'd be and this is 317 or negative 317. Ignore the sign when you're converting it, so you don't really need it. Um, so one, two, just two places, and that's gonna be positive, the exponent. So that would be negative 3.17 times 10 raised to the second power. That's it. Please like, share, and subscribe. And thank you for watching. And I hope you have a wonderful day.